Hi there, my name's Rion Saya. Um, I'm a golf coach here at the St Peter's Golf Academy in Cambridge. Um, also work with New Zealand Golf as a development coach and as an international teams manager. Cool. Rion, why were you interested in being part of a performance coach advance program? Oh, I think to be able to mix with other coaches, um, certainly within your own sport, um, you can get set in your ways a little bit. And certainly, if I think as a coach, we're always trying to learn, um, improve, um, and sort of that growth mindset of always trying to improve ourselves so we can better instruct our, our pupils. All right, so what value have you got out of the program, Rion? Yeah, I think that mixing with other sports, um, common issues and, and fundamental principles of, of coaching. Um, we're working with young athletes um, that are looking to take take their, in our case, their golf game further, but in other sports move on to higher honours. Um, and we tend to say for, we're, we're facing a lot of the same problems. And it's just nice to hear other coaches are going through those same issues and coming up with some solutions to help fix those issues. Right, so the ability to talk with coaches from other sports was a key factor for yeah, you? Yeah, massive factor, massive factor. Right. Um, and, I, and I just think, like I say, sometimes you get you know, you're in at work each day. We're lucky that oh, well, I'm lucky in the, in the fact that I'm a full-time coach in a paid position. Um, but you know, a full-time coach in a paid position means you're you're at one place. You're teaching a lot. Your days are full of teaching. Um, so to interact with coaches from other sports has been hugely beneficial. Right. And um, what about the actual program itself? How it was structured? Um, the type of workshops that were held? Um, can you? Add Give us any comments on those? Yeah, I saw value. Every workshop we attended, there was value. I got value from it, um, and there wasn't there wasn't a poor workshop. Um, and we've covered it over the course of 12 months. Um, and yeah, I didn't find didn't find a poor thing about any of the workshops. Um, usually left with more questions and answers, which I think is a great thing. Makes you come back, look at your own programs, your own culture, um, and how you go about improving your own your own coaching. Right, cool, and. Um if you were to recommend the program to any other coach, what would be the reasons? Oh, just for, to, to meet other coaches, to meet other coaches and to learn and continue to learn. Um, you know, the, the, the friendships that you created as well. We have contacts now that we wouldn't have had um, with other coaches um, and certainly in a place like the Waikato as well with the amount of sports and little sort of sporting hubs that go on, um, knowing those other coaches and being able to pick up the phone and chat to them is, is, is hugely um, yeah, beneficial. Right. What was the one or two key things that you learned from the program for your own development? Yeah, I think certainly one for me was um, performance culture um, within that, not necessarily within a team for us here for golf, more of a facility culture. Um, although the guys do play in the team every now and then, it was more about well, how do we get a culture within the facility that sort of, you know, the older ones are giving back to the younger pupils and the younger pupils are learning from the older pupils. So um, for me that was a, a big one. Um, and also pathways, better, more knowledge, better advice on how those pathways may work for a certain student that want to take their golf game further or their academic studies further and how that sport might fit in with those academic studies also. Cool. Is there anything else you want to add about the program, Neil? No, just brilliant. Yeah, very enjoyable, and um, if I had the chance to do it again, absolutely. Cool. Thanks.